Today, I'm going to tell you about three things you don't know about Santa Cruz, or it could be titled How We Do It Here. Hi, I'm Michelle Replogle, Coldwell Banker Realty. I've lived here most of my life, I mean, since I was little, and there's kind of a couple things that we just kind of are used to here. So I'm going to outline them for you. Three things, traffic, shopping, and contractors. So the first thing is traffic. Everybody wants a place where there's no traffic. Well, probably a place with no traffic is super flat, super urban, and it's development land, and it's not a very exciting place to be. No offense, anybody, just saying that when you have a ocean on one side and a mountain on another side, it creates a traffic nightmare, but it also creates a really beautiful place to live and a really cool environment. So that said, I live on the west side of Santa Cruz. I used to live in the middle of Santa Cruz. And, you know, it's just, it's very narrow. There's a freeway that kind of cuts through the middle of it, of the, you know, the mountain and the ocean. And there's just not a lot of ways to get around. So the trick to it is timing. I think people idealize a world where no one else is around and they can just travel at their leisure and do anything that they want at any time that they want. And we do have those periods. But we also have other times where we're really impacted by traffic. So you just have to be mindful of it. And once you get in the rhythm of it, you do it in such a way that most of the time you don't hit very much traffic and you aren't really affected by it because you've planned ahead. So on the west side, we have UCSD and we have a bunch of schools. So being on the school schedule, it kind of sucks really because you're on someone else's schedule, right? The schools. But at the same time, once you get used to that, it's really no big deal. And for the longest time, Mission Hill down the street from me, I think school started at 7.30, but the law changed and now I can't start, I believe, until 8.30. So I had to readjust because I knew I had that time of when um, the parents bring the kids to school that it's kind of a little hard to get in and around through my neighborhood. Okay, fine. The time changed. Now I know. No big deal. Santa Cruz High. Going downtown, there's an area there that gets really super impacted. It's about between two and three. Okay, I don't go that way. Ah, oh, but there's road construction on the other street. Oh, I have to find other ways. Or I can say, look, I know all of this will be easy at 4 p.m. or even 5. We like to go shopping, which I'm going to get into next, at, at certain places that are on the other side of town, which are super impacted by commute drive times that will go in the evening. So... You can kind of look at your your map and see if there's a traffic uh, snarl, or you can say, I know on this day and this time, it's usually really busy. Now, for instance, uh, Friday afternoon is just a nightmare to be on our Highway 1, and I always warn people who are looking into Aptos that you are going to have some crazy commutes and to be really clear about when and where you work. So for instance, if you want to buy an Aptos and you work from home, fine, no problem. I mean, you'll encounter school traffic there, right? Or even construction traffic there. But if you're trying to go over to Santa Clara, you're looking at 45 minutes to an hour on some days to get home after you've spent 40, 40 minutes getting over the hill. And that's daunting. So I'm, that's just a warning. But if you can work off hours, if you have that capability in your job, you'll probably be just fine. But let me add another layer. So I talked about schools and I talked about construction traffic, but there's a tourism issue to this. Highway one is our coast highway that goes down into Monterey and it also goes up to San Francisco. And a lot of people come into town and then they go through. Well, they're they're blending into the school traffic and to the commuter traffic. And now we have highway widening going on. So now we have construction traffic. So all I could say is to make it a lot easier is to learn the patterns and then understand times of day, check traffic apps. And sometimes you're just going to get stuck in traffic. That's just life. That's just life here. But you know, sometimes you're stuck in traffic and you really have a nice view. So not too bad. Um, then there is shopping. Okay. I preface this lived here a long time. Shopping's never been great here. 
We have a dying mall. Poor thing. I feel so sorry for it. Not our downtown mall, although it's coming back to life after COVID. It was doing really, really well. It was really starting to blossom. And then COVID just came and just took whoever was just hanging on. But downtown is thriving and it's coming back. And I I expect it to be fully back, just raring to go probably by next summer. But that said, there's not a lot of real, I would almost say practical stuff down there. I mean, there's clothes. We have a gap. We have a Forever 21. We have some great food down there. I mean, oh my God, the food. Food is so good. It's wonderful. We have a great bookstore and we have a couple locally owned businesses there that are really fun. But right now my struggle is I need a comforter for my bed and I really can't find that here in town. The mall I was talking about that's dying is in Capitola and they were supposed to rebuild it and they have not and it's just slowly dying. So there's an anchor of Kohl's, Target and Macy's but it's really hard to find bedding there. I mean it's kind of like is that all there is? I just want to look around a little bit more and um, also home furnishings world market is kind of, uh, I think all of our homes are just going to be world market homes. Cause that's really all there is. There's a few furniture shops, but they're very, you know, they just don't have a whole lot, but it, it's really just never been a thing here. Anyway, shopping has always been really difficult here. And when traffic was less and it was a little easier to get over the hill into Santa Clara, we always went to Valley fair and I still go to Valley fair and it still has a lot of um, goods. Not, I don't know about home goods really. That's the other thing. We don't have like a lot of, we have a Marshall's we, and we have a Ross or two. We just don't have a lot of home goods stores. So like if you want to change the decor in your house, it's probably going to look like World Market or Ross. Um, but you know, it's 40 minutes away, but that's the other thing. You know, you got to, you got to plan your day, right? Because you got to, you got to go after the commute traffic and come home before the commute traffic or come home after the commute traffic. So Traffic and shopping are really intertwined here. Uh, we have some great hardware stores. Uh, we have some uh, decent clothing and some food, but you know, really, we just don't have a lot of shopping here. Like if you just like to go shop for the day, uh, it'll probably be in Palo Alto or Santa Clara. Lastly, hiring contract and vendors, uh, contractors and or vendors. I get a lot of requests for referrals because whoever they that my clients have contacted haven't worked out. More than likely, they didn't show. They didn't answer their phone. They just didn't respond. There is a local contractor in the area who does very well. Name is really well known. I've contacted this company myself, had them come over, take a look, never heard from them again. And I went to high school with the owner. I mean, really? Is there not a little, like, would I get a little bit more consideration with that? Nope. So what I recommend for this is to go on Yelp and ask out of area contractors and vendors if they come to this area and more than likely they will say yes if you like their reviews and the comments about their work see if they're going to be in the area anytime soon and i'm going to say probably they are and then you're going to want to be on that schedule this is not to diss the local contractors and vendors i'm just speaking to the frustration of trying to hire somebody because I spend a lot of time on videos talking about how much work our homes need in this area and how so many of them are dilapidated. Yet I don't always have the, the, you know, the instant fix or the instant contractor for them to call to get that stuff done if they don't do it themselves. So it, it can be a little frustrating. It used to be back in the day that it was, um, well, they're surfing, you know, the surf's up, so they're going to go surfing and we'll see them later. That's not really a thing anymore for contractors. It's just, they get busy. Um, they get really busy. And I think, you know, they just kind of, they're doing a job and that one's going and then, you know, they just don't get the other one going and started. The good contractors do, but the other ones that are just maybe not that great at organization skills or even billing skills or any of the other uh, kind of, you know, structure skills of a business. And so they just don't show up. And um, it's really, that's what I'm saying about this video. You know, it's the things that you don't know. These are the things that we work through all the time. So for instance, I had a garage door put in by a person from Monterey and um, that was done really, really, really poorly. It was very unfortunate. And um, I had that fixed by a garage door company from Campbell and they did an amazing job. Turned out they said they were going to be in the area. I called them on a Friday. They were here by Tuesday. I had the door ordered and put in very quickly. So 
I hope that helps you. Of course, there's probably going to be somebody locally commenting saying what it, you know, how mean or something I am. That's not my intention. My intention is just to give an idea of, you know, how we kind of do it around here. So like, comment, and share. Please follow me on Instagram for some great videos of Santa Cruz and or pictures. Twitter is where I retweet information like locally. I think I mentioned before we have a little um, rebel otter. That's been kind of fun. And then, of course, I'm on Facebook and on YouTube. And you can always call me or text me or email as well. Hope you have a good one. Bye.